The Queen of Swords. All right, let's see what we got. The Queen of Swords. Death. There's some changes here, and it, there may be a little bit of reluctance, right? Like if it's not, if it's if it's changed, that's not your own. It's resistant, right? Because it's not in your control. So I don't think that this is meaning necessarily that you guys are, you know, trying to control everything because you know this is something wrong with you, something malicious. It's just that there's some the reason why there's certain resistance or certain control has to do with protecting yourself right the queen of swords is a queen that's been through a lot of difficult things a lot of horrible things um and there's a lot of great things but those difficult times have made her stronger and i feel like that's what you guys have noticed about yourselves you guys have definitely um gotten stronger with the difficult times that you guys have faced but it is resisting some sort of transition some sort of change and it may be change that may not that may not be in within your control because you have the eight of cups here that does talk about not being satisfied with the situation ready to go ahead and just leave it as is right you're not necessarily upset about it you're not pissed off you're just over it right you're not necessarily able to give any more than you have been right you think you've put in a lot of work and it's showing here that the queen of pentacles you've applied yourself you've committed to your you know to the to whatever it was that you've been putting a lot of effort and time into you've been putting a lot of work into it so it makes sense naturally if you've been putting a lot of work into something that you saw value in the in the past it may not be getting you anything now so you're emotionally done with it because here with the four of the five of cups i kind of feel like with the situation with how much work you've been putting into something you kind of feel like because it hasn't given you anything back you feel like you either missed an opportunity somebody may have left or maybe you you know you you feel like you're done with something or something's ended something that you regret okay because the five of cups can talk about regret either this could be the other person as well maybe they regret something or especially in regards to you know interaction and working together and you know doing things as a couple um so yeah i kind of get the sense that with the five of cups you know there's a lot of looking at missed opportunities there's a lot of looking at missed opportunities and the shifting to looking at you know what the possibilities are they're there it's just it's hard to overlook this which is why the queen of swords is coming up right like you want to protect yourself from any more loss, but in order for yourself to do that, you, instead of preparing for it, because if you think about it, the Five of Swords is really giving me a seriously big sign. Be careful not to prevent anything bad from happening, because that may end up sabotaging it anyway and causing exactly what you're fearing, right? Because I think you do want the Two of Cups. This is sort of like in your hopes and fears. This is usually like, you know, this is what's been going down, something that may have fallen through. But... If you shift your focus back to love, things will be fine. Things will be perfect, right? And I feel like you guys know that. I feel like you guys know that. But it's just hard to do it when you guys know how things have gone in the past. And it's just very painful. So I kind of get the sense that for a lot of you guys, it's hard to shift your focus away from what could happen. Or what has already happened in the past. And like, really, I think in, 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 the, in the top of your head, some of you guys are thinking like, what is going to prevent this from happening again? It's by shifting your focus. Because the Five of Swords is talking about, you know, it talks about fighting for what you, you know, not fighting for what you believe in, but, you know, not compromising. You can talk about not compromising. You can talk about being, you know, f you know, really figuring out whether or not some sort of direction is worth it or not. You know, making sure your needs are met and things like that. But do the, you know, the inconvenience and the inconsideration of others, right? Because the Five of Swords isn't around being selfish, but it's about being considerate too that counts. You don't have to be inconsiderate. You could definitely be selfish, but you don't have to be considerate. So I kind of get this feeling that you guys, of course, because you've been hurt in the past, there's some things, I mean, especially because it's considering that you've been, you know, committed, you put a lot of, you know, value, you know, work into something, put a lot of time into it into a past relationship and that was you know you, you know something happened where you may have lost that but i don't think that this is the same situation again i don't think this is the same circumstance because of just how the five of swords is really talking about be careful about what you believe is more important whether this is you taking control of the situation or the relationship now the five of swords tells me that there is something there regarding other people and i feel like you know of course the inclination to make sure you're covered is of course one of the things that's going to come up you should always make sure that you're covered but that's what your boundaries are there for the second you start like fighting and you know fighting over petty things like you know it could be material it could be you know money it could be something else right 
is it worth it enough to put the relationship in a su- such a position where there's no way to move forward because there's a lot of looking at a situation that a lot of looking at something that may not necessarily matter to the real you know to the overall connection right it's about you know five of swords it's petty arguments right fighting about things that really don't matter that really don't really have anything to do with the current situation some of you guys may be dealing with somebody that's causing a lot of friction being very combative with you and it's frustrating because perhaps you guys are trying to go in a new direction but i kind of get this feeling that some of you guys may be dealing with someone that yes this person is trying to start new start fresh there may have been a falling out before with somebody in the past maybe the same person and there's conflict now because this person maybe is bringing a lot of change bringing a lot of new ideas a lot of new ideas that you may not be exactly excited about hearing um things that may not be exactly of what your interest and i feel like the five of swords is saying i don't think it's necessarily you know, it's up to you figuring out whether or not, figuring out what is worth the sacrifice and what isn't, right? It's like, I feel like it's, you can either go two ways. Be careful what you compromise with and then be careful what you're so, what you're too uncompromising about. Because if it's worth the relationship breaking up or, you know, if it's worth putting your emotions aside or putting your, you know, your feelings aside to run with it because you're so, you know, you're so committed to the relationship. That's up to you. Nobody can tell you the right or wrong answer with that. That's why the five of swords is such a neutral energy, in my opinion, because, you know, even though saying be cautious that to get, you know, caught up in the details and then lose yourself in that detail and then end up, you know, severing ties in, in areas that you don't want to or compromising parts of yourself that you really shouldn't probably compromise for the sake of the relationship it's really all about figuring out what works for you and the only way any of those things apply is if you can look at the situation from the perspective of what you're giving up and what you're not willing to give up so i feel like with this future showing of the two of wands yeah there's a lot of decisions that you have to make or excuse me there's not a lot of decisions there's a choice in which you have to make in regards to how you're going to make your dreams come true how are you going to advance in this relationship what direction are you both trying to head towards all right where do you guys get started because i do feel like there is the two of cups in the behind you meaning that there's other opportunities there's other things that you can work with despite what you've lost right and le- using this three of cups as a learning experience to be able to move forward right to be able to work with what you have and i feel like you guys are trying to shift that focus it's just a little hard right now considering that whatever you guys have just literally walked away from you're having to kind of like give yourself time to you know to like ease into this you know it's a little hard right when you're trying to be like no i'm done and you just lost something that was precious to you and it's just like okay but there's other things i gotta i can work with it's just still a little difficult but you can do it and i feel like the way you do it isn't by fighting over stuff that doesn't necessarily have anything to do with the relationship it's about thinking of seeing the bigger picture at the end of the day it's hard to do with this energy considering that there's a lot of changes that are happening that you don't really want to change, right? Death. Death is a very difficult energy and it's going to happen one way or the other usually. Like, is you know, resisting it is usually prolonging the inevitable. But I feel like the five cups, five of swords, it's just that there's different ideas, different perspectives, and you may leave some of this behind, and that's the part that hurts, you know? Maybe you feel like, because you feel like you missed some opportunities, you can't achieve those things. But I feel like the relationship is showing there's an opportunity to do it, there's just another way that you may have to go about doing it, instead of the old-fashioned way, the way that you had planned. And therefore, it's causing a lot of conflict. So, your hopes and fears is the two of cups family like you guys really feel a strong connection with this person and i really feel like you guys have a lot of the same ideals you really want this relationship to work but you also want to make sure that this relationship is definitely what it says what it says it is right you want to make sure that this relationship isn't just a forced thing you want this to be as natural as possible but you also want this person to be a partner not just a lover but someone you can work with and it makes 100 percent sense especially when they have different ideas you want to be on the same page and i feel like you guys already are it's just that there's certain things there's certain ways of doing it that's different right and i feel like that's what the two of wands in the future is showing is considering those options you know not completely shutting them down because you're not really sure about how those methods are going to work but really just considering what's you know considering them right if not totally doing it 
So your whole your external energy is the ten of swords. So I kind of feel like this with this energy here, there's a lot of stuff that's coming in that well there's something that ends and maybe not in the most favorable way, but it's definitely an ending. There's something that definitely can't get any worse than this. You overcome and uh, overcome a difficult time and over overcome a difficult energy. No doubt about is uh, no doubt about it is this energy difficult, but it's usually the worst of the worst and the last of the last, okay? So, let's see why the Ten of Swords is coming up in the outcome. What is the Ten of Swords showing us in the outcome? Why is the Ten of Swords, ten of Swords coming up in the outcome? The defensiveness. The Seven of Wands. So, whatever you're protecting becomes... It's, it's done. Like, whatever you're protecting, whatever you're defensive about... That comes to an end. Whatever the other person is defensive about comes to an end in the outcome. And it's by because I feel like whatever they were resistant towards before has been eliminated. Therefore, there can be room for consideration of someone else's ideas and perhaps considering a new approach to something. It's pretty doggone big, family. It's pretty big. Because if this is about moving house, if this is about, you know, finalizing or the relationship... There is other things, you know, other people's opinions do come into play, right? Because you're dealing with another person. But it doesn't mean you guys don't want the same thing. It doesn't mean that you guys don't have the desire to do some things together. It's just that how you guys go about doing it may be a little difficult. Oh, okay. You got some difficult ones from Fire Surrenders. Okay. So you guys have Surrender Your Fear of Change. Okay. Oh, wow. It's like having a hard time not focusing. But anyway, surrender your fear of change. So it says, the universe is reminding you that you are cared for always. Whether you're afraid of a change in your job, your health, or, your, or a relationship, or if you're afraid of aging or death, repeat the affirmation. I have faith that all is well. I have faith that all is well. And then you guys have surrender your ego. Okay, so it's not going to focus at all. But it says, surrender your ego. Cultivate gratitude, be of service to others, and come from your heart. A big ego can work against you, but humility will further your goals. All right, fam, that's a big message. And usually a pretty hard pill to swallow. And I don't think it's that you guys are being egotistical or chauvinistic. I really feel like you guys are trying to protect yourselves. It's the, re the reason why you guys are afraid of the change is because it's out of necessarily your control. You got two cards of passivity and you guys are fixed energy, right? Queen of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. They're both doers and they both are, you know, they're both, you know, take action in some degree, but they're also very open to changes. They're very open to receiving things. More open than the kings will ever be. And I find that definitely one of the hardest things, like being open to receiving changes that will end, to, end up giving you what you want. But you have to be open to receiving and be open to those changes. And it's hard to do. And you've been, you know, you've been through a lot. All right. Actions speak loudly. Express your love through your action. Okay. And that's crazy. So I don't think that you guys are meant to stay put and just kind of let everything happen. But I do feel like paying attention to other people's actions is the best way to gauge whether or not someone's trying to control your life or trying to build a life with you because there's always two different things right i don't think you shouldn't stop communicating what you want but i do believe that if there are things that you want done and the other person may have a different way about doing it i feel like letting them do it is the best way